Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install OpenSwitch Night Build into your HPE Autoline 5712 switch. So first go to the OpenSwitch.net website, click on Use, and down there uh, there is a link to OpenSwitch Download Archive where the Night Builds are being stored. There you go to the periodic folder and then to the latest folder and choose uh, AS5712 as your platform and you will look for the file with ONI installer. You're gonna download this file uh, and uh, put it on your USB stick but rename it to the file name ONI-installer. And with that we're ready to go so let's open the serial console and boot up uh, HPE5712. So after the BIOS you can see that very quickly there is a group uh, with some, some options like uninstalling OS or updating the bootloader. We're gonna install operating system. The only bootloader will now try uh, to get an IP address uh, to use some auto configuration, for example with the DHCP options to, to download the, the actual OS. So we are waiting for some, some DHCP requests. And after that, uh, the installer uh, or bootloader will, will try several methods to, to discover where are the services or where the OS can be found. And one of those options also is that it will look for the local USB stick which has been mounted, whether there is a file with the name ONI-installer, which is our case. So after a while, we should see that uh, ONI will start to install the operating system based on the file we have on our USB sticks which which happened just right now so the installer is creating the primary and secondary part partition uh, will format the partition and install you know two copies of the open switch so we now are waiting for the primary partition to become ready and then the secondary partition and then we're gonna install uh, the operating system and then we are basically ready to go so the partitions are ready right now so we're now copying the file system of the open switch not build and then we will install some items into the group uh, so uh, on the start of the switch you can choose whether you want to boot from the primary or secondary or uh, into ONI or any any other options which are available so installation has finished right now so we should expect that the switch is going to reboot which has happened just right now so now the switch will be booting again and after the BIOS we expect that our group will have some more options to choose from so the BIOS is being initiated right now and here we go so we can boot open switch primary or secondary or into ONI we will choose the open switch which is default option which will kick in after a couple of seconds so you don't have to do it manually of course so the, now the open switch operating system is booting so we are ready to log into our switch so we will use default admin admin and we are in with a question mark you can see comments which are available let's go config t and jump into the management interface of our switch and we will specify static IP address here alright and uh, I also need to have a default route okay so default gateway configuration now we can go ahead and open our browser and try to point it to the IP address of our freshly installed open switch on HP Outline 5712 so here we go we can log in with the same default username and password and that's the web interface so there's some kind of overview some system monitor uh, we can have a look on the IP address and do some additional stuff like VLANs or interfaces also there is a link to the REST API which is a RSDoc basically live documentation of a RESTful interface so we're, with that you can see what is available in this API and you can even have some calls initiated directly from this UI just to you know try and, and play with that a little so there is a very simple call to the system API which will um, return some information about the device so that's it this is how how easy it is to install open switch on your HPE Altline 5712